Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to be exploring the filter section of the matriarch. Looking at the panel, given that there's only one cutoff knob, you might think that there's only a single filter on the matriarch, but there are actually two that can be configured to work in a few different ways. So looking at the center of the panel, we have a filter mode switch that allows us to select how the two filters are operating. The first mode on the left side is a series mode where filter 1 is set up as a high pass filter and its output is then fed into filter 2 which is configured as a low pass filter and then that signal is fed into the VCA. With the switch in the center, it's set up in a stereo operation where both filters are low pass filters but either one is assigned to a different side of the stereo field so you can create some interesting stereo imaging. The last mode is a parallel mode where once again filter 1 is configured as a high pass and filter 2 is configured as a low pass. But this time the mixer's output is fed into both filters at the same time and both outputs are then mixed and fed into the VCA. So you can hear both filters operating in parallel. So now what I'm going to do to hear the effect of all three filter modes is make sure that my hold button is turned on and I'm going to increase my sustain slider on my amplitude envelope and let the chord that I have drone. So I'm going to set it into series and now let's listen to how our signal is affected as I adjust the cutoff knob. So in series mode, I almost end up with something similar to a bandpass filter where when I turn the cutoff knob past noon clockwise, you can hear the lower harmonics of my signal getting removed by the high pass filter. And when I go counterclockwise past noon, you can hear my upper harmonics getting removed by the low pass filter. Another thing that we can do in series mode is use the spacing knob to set how wide the band of our faux bandpass filter will be. And a good way to hear this is if I turn the cutoff all the way clockwise and then adjust the spacing knob, turning it down counterclockwise past noon, you'll hear that the low harmonics that the high pass filter removes will get reintroduced to the signal. I can also determine a width of a band that I like and still be able to adjust the cutoff knob and control both filters at the same time. Now in stereo mode what's going to happen is I have two low pass filters and if I set my spacing knob to noon and sweep the cutoff it's going to sound like a traditional Moog ladder filter. Now if I adjust my spacing knob to separate the cutoff of the two filters what's going to happen is I'm going to weight one filter more heavily in the stereo field and you'll be able to hear the two cutoffs sweeping at different times in our stereo image as I adjust the cutoff knob. So let's hear how that sounds. I'm also going to add a little bit of resonance to make this effect a little bit more pronounced. This can be a nice way to create some interesting stereo imaging on your patches. The last mode is parallel mode. And what you'll notice is when I sweep the filter cutoff, we're going to end up with a behavior that's very similar to the series behavior, but with one critical difference. Which is I can hear as I turn clockwise past noon, my high pass filter kicking in and removing low end. And when I go counterclockwise past noon, I can hear my low pass filter also removing signal. But the critical difference is that I can hear the low pass and high pass at the same time. So even though I hear the high pass removing low harmonics, I can hear those harmonics being let through by the low pass filter at the same time, and vice versa once I sweep downwards. What this can be nice for is if I adjust the spacing knob, I can achieve some interesting notch filter effects. This can be nice for imitating a lot of phaser effects. 
Now let's look at using some of the utilities on the matriarch to separate the two filter behaviors a little bit more. So what we're going to do to achieve this is patch from my right attenuator to the cutoff one input. And I'm going to patch from the bottom attenuator on the left side to the cutoff two input. You might ask why I've reversed these two cables to control the opposing filter, and this really has to do with something we're going to cover a little bit later that involves this left utility section. But for now, let's just look at this patching the way it's set up. I'm going to bring my core drone back in, and I'm going to flip it back into series mode. Now what you'll notice is that my left attenuator is going to control the low pass filter that I have in this patch, and my right attenuator is going to control the high pass filter. So let's open up the low pass filter, and we'll also increase our high pass filter. So as you can hear, this allows us to have independent control of both our high pass and low pass filters, which can be nice for certain types of patches. Another thing that we can do with this configuration is say I just want to feed my envelope output into our low pass filter. I wouldn't be able to do that with the envelope amount knob because that's actually going to feed the envelope into both filters at the same time. But what I can do is patch the envelope output from my filter envelope into the input on the top attenuator on the left side. And now with nothing patched to the output of that attenuator, its signal is going to cascade down and mix with the output of my lower attenuator. And what this is going to do is allow me to still have my cutoff control for the low pass, but now I also can introduce an envelope just on my low pass filter and still be able to sweep my high pass filter without hearing any kind of envelope modulation. So moving on, we can set it into our stereo mode. And now we'll be able to hear that I can sweep either side of the stereo field independently. And in this case, we can also use the envelope amount to modulate both envelopes at the same time, which can be really useful. Lastly, let's look at the parallel effect once more. And again, As you can hear, we get a lot of nice sweeping effects. And to get the parallel mode sounding particularly interesting, what we can also do is patch the triangle output of this utility LFO into the input of this attenuator above it. And I'm going to repatch the wave output from our modulator. And I'm also going to set it to a sawtooth wave. And I'm going to patch that to the input of the attenuator controlling the other filter. And we can still sweep the cutoff to control both filters simultaneously while they're being modulated. So as you can hear, the filter section on the matriarch is much more than meets the eye, and through a little bit of creative patching, we can really achieve all sorts of different interesting filtering effects.